talk today about one of South America's most famous, or infamous perhaps, painters, Fernando Otero. Fernando Otero was born in 1932 in Colombia as the son of a salesman and seamstress. Though Botero did not get a chance to visit many of the museums whose idolizations of fine art were so criticized by Dewey in his childhood, Botero was exposed to a very Baroque style of architecture growing up in the city of Medellin. Botero, who remains alive today, has dedicated his life's work to the painting of people with exaggerated proportions. Through these depictions, Botero attempts to show either excess or humor. Here are some of Botero's most famous paintings. But that also has quite a few sculptures that he's made over his career. Botero makes around 30 works each year and sells each of these for tens of thousands of dollars, if not more, prices which have only increased with his fame over the years. Now, interestingly, Though it may seem as though Botero is making these paintings with a specific purpose, perhaps to attempt to make art out of body types that have rarely been seen as beautiful, as we usually idolatrize thinner bodies. Botero has often stated that he has no ulterior motive with the people that he draws. In fact, he has even gone as far as stating, I don't paint fat people. Instead, he insists that the voluminous nature of his subjects stems from his attempt to exaggerate the human sensuality. However, beyond wanting to accentuate human sensuality, Bodhara has no particular reason for drawing people the way in which he does, as in, in a very voluminous nature. As once pointed out, an artist is attracted to certain kinds of form without knowing why. You adopt a position intuitively, only later do you attempt to rationalize, or even justify it. Thus. Botero simply was attracted to this nature or this idea of exaggerated proportions and did not have a particular reason to draw people um, appearing to be fat. What I find interesting about Botero's work is as it pertains to Kant, particularly the question of whether or not this work is beautiful. Is it? Does Kant's principle of the universally subjective apply here? Can we all agree that what we see here is beautiful? I am unsure myself. I do know that there is an element of disinterest in the simple viewing of the painting. Of course, once we register what the painting is exactly portraying, we can determine if we have a deeper interest. But from the outside, at least, there is no reason why I would have any sort of interest in calling this particular painting beautiful. I did not make it. Furthermore, as we have discussed, beauty should surprise you. The first time one sees a Botero, certainly the first time I saw a Botero, surprise may be an adequate response. One generally expects a painting, particularly one of the fine arts, to attempt to idealize the human body, or to express sensuality through slimness rather than seeming obesity. On these reasons, I am compelled to say that Boteros are beautiful, but I am still uncertain about whether or not others would agree with me, and thus make this universally subjective. One thing is for certain though, different people can certainly disagree, perhaps with these works of art more than with other works of art, if these paintings and sculptures are actually appealing or pleasing. To many they may be, but to others, socialized with modern day conceptions of beauty, that may not be the case. 